Massive Shiba Inu developments have just occurred. Shiba Inu community is getting stronger and stronger. But what does BlackRock have to do with all of it? And why is there not much time left for a historical price pump? Let me explain. Disclaimer. Just recently, one of the Shiba Inu developers made the following tweet. Utilize Shibarium for Shiba burns. Avoid asking dev when burn. Instead, encourage people to use and build on Shibarium. Request your exchanges to integrate Shibarium and list bone. The power lies with exchanges, not devs, to make it happen. This tweet is promoting the utilization of Shibarium, a layer 2 scaling solution for burning Shiba Inu tokens. Burning tokens means removing them from circulation, often done to reduce the total supply and potentially increase the value of the remaining tokens. The tweet advises against constantly asking the developers when token burning will occur. Instead, it encourages the community to actively use and contribute to the development of Shibarium. By using and building on Shibarium, individuals can contribute to the ecosystem's growth and indirectly participate in the burning of Shiba Inu tokens. Furthermore, the tweet suggests that the community has the power to influence exchanges. Instead of relying solely on developers to implement burning mechanisms, the tweet suggests that users can request exchanges to integrate Shibarium and list the bone token, which plays a role as a gas fee token on Shibarium. This strategy implies that by getting more exchanges involved in supporting Shibarium, there is a higher likelihood of achieving the desired token burns. The strength of Shiba Inu fans, or any cryptocurrency community, lies in their collective influence and capacity to unite for common objectives. Their unity is very important. A large and engaged community creates a powerful network effect, drawing attention from investors, developers, and exchanges. Active participation in social media and online platforms enhances the market presence of the cryptocurrency, attracting more potential investors and users. Exchanges often consider community demand when deciding which tokens to list, and a passionate community can influence these decisions. Community involvement goes beyond marketing, with supporters contributing to the project's development through feedback, suggestions, and even active participation in coding. Positive sentiment generated by an active community can create market momentum, attracting attention and increasing investment interest. Cryptocurrency adoption often spreads through word of mouth, and a dedicated community can be a powerful source of recommendations and testimonials. During challenging times, a strong community provides emotional support to its members, contributing to the overall health of the community and the project. Community members, being well-versed in the project's details, play a crucial role in educating others, dispelling misconceptions, and attracting more informed investors. So now you understand that the collective power of a cryptocurrency community, such as Shiba Inu fans, significantly impacts the success and growth of the project, influencing exchanges, attracting investors, and contributing to overall project development in the cryptocurrency space. Anyway, the tweet also stated that people should start building on Shibarium, and that it is very important. Here we have some good news. Not that long ago, Nownodes revealed a significant milestone reached by the blockchain dedicated to Shiba Inu. The disclosure emphasized the necessity to expand its capacity due to the increasing utilization of Shibarium. This update drew the notice of the official Shiba Inu X handle, prompting a comment of woof from the Shiba Inu team in response to the development. Woof! Scaling to new heights, Shibarium just entered the top five most active networks on Now Nodes, and we're just getting warmed up. But what does it all mean? Let me clarify. Now Nodes is a node provider platform. Imagine the blockchain as a busy city and nodes as the buildings that make up this city. Nodes are crucial for processing and storing information, much like buildings that house businesses and services. So recently, Shibarium gained popularity on the node provider platform, just two months after Now Nodes introduced the Shibarium node. As more people started using Shibarium on Now Nodes, the platform received more requests. To handle this increased demand, Now Nodes expanded the capacities for Shibarium node utilizations. Now this is huge. It literally means that more and more people are building on Shibarium. When more people actively build on Shibarium, it signifies a thriving ecosystem for Shiba Inu. Picture Shibarium as a bustling city where developers construct various buildings. As this city expands with more projects and applications, it brings positive news for the Shiba Inu audience. The growth of Shibarium represents increased adoption making Shiba Inu more widely recognized and utilized within the blockchain space. This flourishing ecosystem attracts a diverse community of users, investors, and developers, creating a positive feedback loop 
for sustained growth. The ongoing development on Shibarium not only adds new functionalities and features, but also encourages active community participation. The success of these projects generates positive sentiment, drawing attention from the broader crypto community and potentially bringing in new investors and enthusiasts. Furthermore, the increased liquidity within the ecosystem, akin to a smoothly operating marketplace in the city, facilitates easier trading and transactions with Shiba Inu tokens. As Shibarium becomes a hub of activity, it may attract partnerships and collaborations, opening doors to additional resources and opportunities for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. In essence, the growth of Shibarium is like witnessing a city flourish with new constructions and collaborations, and this vitality contributes significantly to the overall success and appeal of Shiba Inu in the cryptocurrency landscape. Speaking of building and the updates, here's something very important for the whole crypto community. I will touch recent updates from BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF a little. I will soon explain why it is so important for the Shiba Inu community, so stay tuned. A recent BlackRock's modification to the proposed structure of spot Bitcoin ETFs could allow authorized participants to generate new fund shares using cash instead of solely relying on cryptocurrency. This change opens opportunities for major banks on Wall Street, particularly those constrained by regulations preventing direct involvement with cryptocurrencies. But why is it such a big news? Let me explain. Imagine you're in the financial world, and there's a significant development involving BlackRock, a major player in investment management. They've recently made a change to the way their proposed Bitcoin ETF or exchange-traded fund works. Now, an ETF is like a basket of different assets that you can buy or sell on the stock market. In this case, it's specifically focused on Bitcoin, the digital currency. This change involves something called authorized participants. These are special entities that play a crucial role in the ETF system. They can create or redeem shares of the ETF, essentially managing the supply. Normally, creating new shares in a Bitcoin ETF would require using cryptocurrency, but BlackRock has altered the game. Now, these authorized participants can also use cash to generate new shares. Here's where it gets interesting, especially for major banks on Wall Street like JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. These banks, despite their financial prowess, have faced restrictions or regulations that kept them from directly dealing with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. But with BlackRock's modification, using cash to create new shares, it's like a door opening for these banks. They can now potentially participate more actively in the world of Bitcoin ETFs. The significance? Well, it's a bridge between the traditional financial giants and the emerging digital asset space. This change not only accommodates the regulatory constraints of major banks, but also taps into the vast financial resources they possess. It's like bringing Wall Street into the world of Bitcoin in a way that wasn't easily possible before. This development is part of a larger narrative in the financial landscape. There's a growing optimism that the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, the regulatory body overseeing these matters, might soon approve these Bitcoin ETFs. If that happens, it could be a game changer attracting a flood of money from regular investors into the digital asset space. In a nutshell, BlackRock's modification is reshaping how traditional financial giants can participate in the evolving world of digital assets, potentially signaling a new era where Bitcoin becomes more integrated into the broader financial ecosystem. But why am I being so confident that the first crypto ETF will be accepted? Recently, one famous X account made a tweet that drew attention to something very interesting. This tweet is drawing attention to a pattern observed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission regarding its approach to cryptocurrency. The tweet suggests that the SEC is currently issuing investor alerts about crypto. An investor alert is a communication from regulatory authorities like the SEC intended to inform the public about potential risks or concerns related to certain financial products or investments. The significance of the tweet lies in the comparison with a past event. The tweet mentions that the SEC had similarly posted investor alerts about cryptocurrency before approving the first futures Bitcoin ETF. The implication here is that the SEC's issuance of investor alerts could be seen as part of its due diligence and regulatory process. In the past, the SEC's investor alerts preceded the approval of the first Bitcoin ETF based on futures contracts. Therefore, the tweet might be suggesting that the SEC's current actions, including the issuance of alerts, could be a precursor or an indication that the regulatory body is actively engaging with and monitoring the cryptocurrency space, potentially as part of a process that could lead to the approval of new financial products 
such as a Bitcoin ETF. It's highlighting a historical correlation between SEC's alerts and subsequent approvals in the crypto space. You should not forget that first crypto ETF approval opens the doors for more cryptocurrencies to be embraced. For example, Shiba Inu or other altcoins. Curious on what the SEC have to say towards the cryptocurrency space as a whole? Well, let me clarify. Be careful with crypto investments because they can be very risky and some platforms may not protect you well. Companies in this space might not follow the rules and services like proof of reserves may not be as safe as they seem. Big crypto platforms aren't registered with the SEC, so you miss out on important protections. Risks include prices going up and down a lot, companies going broke, and scams. Even if a celebrity says it's good, be cautious. Have a plan, understand risks, and pay off debts first. The alert is just advice and doesn't change the rules. And that was the official message by the SEC. What do you think? Do you agree with the cautious message stated above? Comment down below. Before wrapping up, make sure to click one of the videos you see on the screen. You won't regret it. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.